In this episode, I'll talk about a recent problem while on the road with the RV door lock on my Keystone Bullet 243BHS and the step-by-step -step process we took to replace the lock. Having your door lock fail and not being able to get into the RV can be a startling situation and leave you outside looking in. Replacing the lock is not a difficult task that most RV owners should be able to tackle. Hey everybody, I'm John Marucci. I'm an avid traveler and teacher and love to explore. In 2016, I decided to travel by RV and have never looked back. I've had my share of problems along the way, and being a teacher by nature, I've tried to turn these problems into help for others. Whether new to RV travel or experienced, you're in the right place. So let's jump in. I had noticed that the deadbolt on my original equipment RV door lock was getting looser to operate over time. I didn't think much about it until leaving the trailer one day and locking the door. The key turned around and around in the deadbolt while trying to unlock the door. Unfortunately, this was after the deadbolt had engaged. So the lock was engaged and the key wouldn't work. The next minute, it was easy to be alarmed as I wondered how to get back into my locked RV. After a bit, I did figure out how to get back in without breaking any window or door. Pretty quickly, I ordered a replacement door handle and lock. Within a few days, the new handle and lock set arrived at the campground, and we were able to do the replacement. So be aware that if your RV door's deadbolt starts to feel loose, it could be ready to fail. So let's go over the step-by-step -step process of doing this door lock replacement. Please be aware that this DIY job is not for everyone, and you need to review this process carefully before deciding to take on the task. We'll also have the written process document published on johnmarucci.com in the resources area. I don't consider this job too difficult for the average RV owner, but if you're uncomfortable with any step in this process, please consult a professional. This process simply walks through how I tackled the issue while on the road. The tools required are simply a Phillips screwdriver. First, check to see the play in your deadbolt lock. As mentioned, my lock was becoming looser over time. You can easily check this by manipulating the red handle to the deadbolt from the inside the RV. It should have considerable resistance when turning the handle. If it feels loose, you may have an issue where the deadbolt is failing. Next. Remove the inside screws of the door handle. In my situation, four Phillips head screws needed to be removed. Once the four screws are loosened, the inside portion of the door handle should come off easily. Note, you'll want to have the door open before removing the handle. Next, remove the door edge plate. With the door slightly open, remove the screws that hold the door edge plate to the door. This keeps the lock portion of the handle in place in the door. Once the screws are removed, remove the door edge plate and set it aside. Next, remove the lock portion of the handle assembly. You'll need to angle out the lock mechanism very carefully. If you notice, I had an issue with the lock being tight at the back of the door cut out and slightly damaged the fiberglass. It is easy to break the door facing fiberglass if you force the unit too quickly. If you feel like you're forcing the lock out, stop before you break the door's fiberglass finish. Next, install the new lock. I purchased a Global Classic Pro door lock assembly from eTrailer.com that matched the original equipment. So it was easy to install the unit given it was identical to the one removed. The new lock will have both the lock and interior handle portions joined together in the box. Separate these two portions for installation. Carefully install the outer lock portion of the handle, inserting it at an angle to get the entire mechanism into the door handle cutout. The outside handle locking mechanism may not fully sit flush immediately. Before you complete the rest of the process, please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell icon to set reminders 
when new video content is published. Data shows that almost 90% of those who view our videos are not subscribed. So you can really help us out by taking a moment to subscribe. Thanks. Next, connect the inside handle. To get the outer lock portion flush against the door's fiberglass, I attach the handle portion from the inside using the four screws before attaching the door edge plate. This was not as easy as expected, as it is difficult with one hand to hold the handle to the door while inserting the screws. If you have someone to help at this point, it's a good idea to have them hold the handle portion secure while you insert the screws. Next, seat the four screws fully and test the deadbolt. Once the handle is secure, there should be some resistance in the new lock as the deadbolt slides out. Fully tighten the screws and retest the deadbolt and handle. Next, attach the door edge plate. Use the provided screws so that the plate seats properly. Once the door edge plate is attached, retest the deadbolt and handle to ensure they move freely. Next, replace the trailer's strike plate. In my case, the replacement strike plate had a different sized opening versus the original, so we passed on replacing the strike plate. This is your call to replace the strike plate or leave the original. I didn't want to add any irregularities to the door closing, so I left it as is, allowing me to replace it later if desired or needed. Next, test the new lock and door closing. Finally, I tested the new lock. It was apparent upon inserting the key that the new lock was good and tight in terms of fit. The deadbolt had decent friction and no play in the mechanism, and the unit worked flawlessly. Also, remember to close the door several times to test that the door continues to close correctly, given the new lock set and original strike plate. Well, congrats! That'll do it for the step-by-step -step process of replacing your RV's door lock. Hopefully this process will help you tackle this task. Remember that the process document for this task is on johnmarucci.com in the resources area. Okay, that'll do it for now. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button, share it with friends on social media, and remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. This is John Marucci and so long for now.